This is Dimas Salaberrios, the author of Street God, and you're listening on Face Edge with Joe Taylor. God was really tugging at my heart and saying, you know, I want you to share with the world what you've written down, and I'm thinking, no way. No way. No way, Summer says. Summer, if it's written on your heart, write it down and sing about it. Sing about it, you do. Thank you to author, pastor, and yes, former drug lord, Dimas Salabarius, for the introduction. Dimas has an incredible story. In his book, Street God, he tells the story of his dangerous journey through the underworld of crime, drugs, and almost certain death. It was an encounter with the real God that saved his life and then made it even more dangerous. You can hear our conversation at onfaithsedge.com slash 67. That's onfaithsedge.com slash 67. Hi. Welcome to the 68th episode of On Faith's Edge. My name is Joe Taylor, recovering atheist and your servant in Jesus Christ. This is your place to hear conversations about God and living a life of faith in Jesus Christ. Today is a short and sweet episode, which perfectly describes today's guest, new singer-songwriter Summer Floyd. If you looked up All-American Girl in in the Dictionary, chances are the definition will be accompanied by a picture of Summer. Growing up in the Texas Hill Country, Summer was an honor roll student, gifted athlete, beauty queen, and genuinely nice person. The transformation from everyone's All-American to God's empty vessel didn't come quickly or easily for Summer. She's had her share of trials and tough decisions. The beauty of her music is a testament to God's grace shining from this young woman. So recently I found out about a new artist who has some exciting new music and looks to be a uh, maybe a next uh, next superstar in the Christian music world. Her name is Summer Floyd, and I have asked Summer to come and talk to us about her new project, Ray of Light. Hi, Summer. Hi. You are from Central Texas. The only thing I know about Central Texas is a, is a small city in, in Texas called Brady, Texas. Uh, are you familiar with Brady, Texas, Summer? Yes, we are. We're actually from Lampasas, Texas. No kidding. No kidding. I have some business reasons to be familiar with Brady. Tell us about Ray of Light. Um, well, it's my very first album, and um, we're just really hoping that with my music and the lyrics that we can just bring a new sense of hope and, um, and encouragement to people um, because we, we understand that as human beings, we're all imperfect, and we all go through a time in life where we feel broken or lost or maybe even just stagnant and not understanding what our purpose is in life. And I just pray that with my music, I'm able to just really allow people and give them the motivation to just open up their hearts and their minds to have that desire to follow the plan that God has for their life. Because for my testimony, um, I understand that doesn't matter what path you choose without God. It's full of emptiness and brokenness. And we're just hoping that we can encourage people to fulfill the goals that God has for them so that, you know, they can just take that leap of faith and, and keep on with it. <laughs> Ray of Light comes out in May. Yes. We are, we are talking right now in February of 2016. So in May of 2016, Ray of Light is coming out. We may, uh, this conversation may actually be released somewhere around May of 2016. Yes, definitely. Um, I don't think the, our hometown fan base could wait any longer. <laughs> <laughs> you had a lot of people behind you, huh? Yes. Fantastic. We, everyone's pretty excited about it. We've had a lot of really positive responses just from the demos that we've allowed people to hear. This is your first project? Yes. That's right. Okay. And uh, give us a hint of, of what, what we can expect from Ray of Light. What, what style of music? Have you been compared to uh, anybody in the, in, the, in the music world? Actually, yes, I have. Um, it's contemporary Christian worship, and it's been compared to that of Carrie Job and Bethel Music. Gotcha. And you are working with Stephen Taylor? Yes. A, uh, somewhat of a legend in the Christian music world, the multiple Dove Award winner. What's it like working with, with Stephen? Oh, wow. He's been incredible. He's just really been there to push me and encourage me to just really open up my mind of creativity and accept new ideas. And I mean, without him, my project could not have reached its full potential. 
He's done just an, an incredible job. He's not just my, you know, 10-time Dove Award-winning producer. He's more like family now. Ray of Light is your first project. You have a story to tell that brings you to Ray of Light. Tell us about, about your personal journey of faith. Okay. Um, well, you know, as a little girl, I was always raised in church. You know, I come from a small, small town of Burnett, Texas, and um, I have an incredible supportive family. And, you know, we've been, we've just always been a really close-knit family. And, but throughout life, you know, as, as most people do, I just kind of chose summer's way over God's way. And it led me down several roads that I never intended. Um, one being that I have a daughter now out of wedlock. She's four years old now. And through that time, I felt really broken and really ashamed and just very disappointed in the choices that I made. And after I had her, um, I really felt God tugging at my heart that because for a while I'd been writing down what turned into lyrics on paper. And, um, you know, how most people just kind of keep a journal. You know, I kind of wrote songs. And so it really turned into worship for me because it just reminded me of the place I had been and then God's redemption in my life. And um, so for a while there, God was really tugging at my heart and saying, you know, I want you to share with the world what you've written down. And I'm thinking, no way. You know, there's someone else out there that's way better than I am. You know, I cannot stand out for God. I can't do this because I'm dirty. Like I don't have, mm. you know, I have a past, but Second Corinthians 5:17 says, "Therefore if anyone is in Christ, they become a new creation. The old is gone and the new is here." And that really encouraged me throughout. You know, my times were it was like a battle between me and God. He's like, "Come on, let's do it. This is what I really want you to do." And I said, "No, I'm not good enough." And so finally it came to a point to where I'm like, God, just show me the answers. And once I finally just submitted myself to him and his purpose, I tell you what, he said, hang on, because this train is moving. Exactly a year and a day from today last year was my last day to walk out of the medical field at Scott and White Healthcare to say, God, whatever your will is for my life as a single mother, not to mention, I said, have your will be done, not mine. You know, I'm just going to dive deep into this and wholeheartedly trust you and have faith that you have better plans for me than I could ever imagine. And then, of course, you know, having my supportive family and my mother who has never thought any dream is too big because ever since I was little, I've been singing. I mean, two years old, I'm singing about baby bunnies and pigs and <laughs> my brothers. And, you know, it just really... Music has always been very special and has always been a deep passion for me. And now I'm just so excited to be able to share that with people because a lot of times, you know, people, they reach out and they're like, but you would never understand. And little do they know, I've hit rock bottom as well because the whole meaning to, to me and my opinion of rock bottom is just losing sight of your own self-worth, you know, losing sight of why am I even here? I mean, what am I even good for? And just... Just that alone, I hope to encourage, I mean, not, not just young people, but also older people that, you know, God has a plan and a purpose and you're never too far gone. You're never too broken. You're, you're never too messed up. You know, God, I feel like he just really allowed me to reach a point in my life where I was so broken. He could just pick up the pieces and put them back together and say, you know, you, you can do good things because God uses little people to do big things for him. Your passion, Summer, and your heart for God and your heart for what you're doing is inspiring. Thank you. Uh, I can tell. That, you know, music is important. Worship music is critical to, our, to us Christians. To know, that, to know that that music has a story behind it and has a, uh, has a passion behind it is nothing short of inspirational. Do you have a uh, favorite song from your album? Well, um, you know, that's a tough one because I really love all of my songs just because they're just a true reminder of me, of God's grace and His redemption and His everlasting love. But there's one in particular that holds a deeper place in my heart, and that is Stronger. And um, it was actually written for a dear friend of mine who wasn't feeling very well, so she went to the ER and come to find out she was diagnosed with leukemia. 
And shortly after, um, about a week and a half later, she's in ICU on life support and you know, and we were actually on our way traveling to Nashville to start recording my album. And um, we had the studio booked and the musicians and, you know, I had most of my songs laid out. And, and you know, it was kind of funny because my producer, he's very organized. He's very, you know, he's very on top of things. And so for me to come to him and I'm like, hey, Steve, I wrote a song on the, in the car on the way because it's a 16-hour drive. Um, and I'm like... You know, I feel really strongly about it. I'm sorry to throw it on you last minute, but we are doing this. And he's like, you know what? I support you. You know, whatever your your little heart desires, let's do it. You know, let's make it happen. And so it's the song Stronger. Um, it, what really inspired me to write that is not only for her name is Cindy, Cindy and Phil Holt, not only just for Cindy and Phil, but also for myself and for other people who are struggling because it doesn't necessarily have to just be reported back to leukemia because whenever I spoke to Phil, he had such a new sense of faith and strength. And here I am thinking, how can you do this? Because, I mean, how can you feel this way? Because I'm thinking, why Cindy? I mean, she's such a beautiful woman on the inside and out. And we always wonder, why do bad things happen to such good people? And so just even for myself, I sat down and I started writing and it says, you never said this would be easy and you never said that there wouldn't be tears, but I know that you're always here. Can we take a second and listen to this song? Nice summer. Nice. So how can we find out more about you? Um, well, we actually have a website that is being developed. It's at summerfloyd.com. And you will you can go and see on there that it's upcoming for a new singer-songwriter. And that's how it's got my Gmail, my contact information. Congratulations, Summer. Thank you. This is going to be exciting, huh? Welcome to the journey. Thank you. We're excited. God bless. Summer's website is summerfloyd.com, and her new album, Ray of Light, will be available soon at Christian retailers and including Amazon.com. Of course, all of today's links can be found in today's show notes at onfaithsedge.com slash 68. That's onfaithsedge.com slash 68. Well, that'll wrap up today's show. Thank you to Summer Floyd for being with us today, and thank you for listening. You mean a lot to me, and you mean a lot to this show. Remember, God is real. He loves you. And so do I. God bless. Thank you for listening to On Faith's Edge. You can subscribe to the show via iTunes, Stitcher, Internet Radio, or your favorite podcast app on Android, Apple, or Windows devices. To reach out to Joe or leave comments about the show, visit onfaithsedge.com. You're important to us, and we would love to hear from you.